So in sterile processing, we're responsible for the decontamination, assembly, and re-sterilization of all reusable medical instruments. I'm Ashley Hammer. I'm the sterile processing manager here at Washington Regional. So one of the more challenging things is not a lot of people know uh, what an SPD tech is or even that you know we exist. So we're the behind the scenes folks that kind of help keep everybody running. Sterile processing is the backbone of uh, surgical services. We're the first line of defense uh, for patients. Hi, my name is James Roundtree. I'm the Vice President of Surgical Services at Washington Regional Medical Center. Without a sterile processing department, a hospital that has any kind of um, surgical program, uh, you would not be able to function. Um, without sterile processing, we would come to a screeching halt in about a day. Being a level two trauma center, we're required to have um, surgery 24-7, and without sterile processing, we couldn't have surgery at all. It's kind of a cycle, so it's um, we get it dirty and we return it clean, so everything will come into decontam. And in decontam, we will actually clean each individual instrument by hand. So once we clean everything by hand, then we put them into big automatic washers, and we run them for about 30 minutes. And then on the other side, there's another door that opens. We'll take them out, and then we will um, reassemble the trays uh, following a list that we have on our computers. And from there, they go into either the sterilizer, or if it doesn't go into that, it goes into the low temperature, which we use um, hydrogen peroxide to sterilize it. But it just depends if it's a fragile instrument that can't be exposed to heat, it'll go in the low temperature. From there, then we will load them onto a cart and return them to uh, wherever they go. We do about uh, between 900 and 1,000 cases a month. So we're a very busy OR. We're um, one of the busiest ORs in the state. We're definitely the busiest OR in Northwest Arkansas. So we're the only hospital in the area to require our techs to be CRCST certified. And that sets us apart. So the other hospitals that, that require that kind of thing are hospitals like Mayo Clinic, MD Anderson, Johns Hopkins. So it, it's a pretty big deal and it's great. It's amazing to have our techs to be certified. And we require perfection. You, you, don't want, you don't want any instrument set to not have what you need in case of an emergency. So they, they have a lot of pressure on them and to do that and, and to have a good attitude and work hard and um, it, it's just they're a, a remarkable group of um, people.